Thanks for choosing Skylink. Now today, we're going to assemble and install Adam Skylink Net enabled garage door opener with a sectional rail system for a chain drive on a sectional garage door. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Now before we get started, refer to your instruction manual to take any necessary precautions and conduct all necessary safety tests to ensure your garage door is functioning properly. Before assembling your garage door opener, it's a good idea to lay out the parts. Refer to your manual to take inventory of the included parts and hardware. Do not use power tools on any of these steps unless instructed otherwise. Plan to set aside a couple of hours, but you may need more time. Step 1. Begin by placing your garage door opener on protective cardboard and setting it on the floor 10 feet away from the garage door. Align the four T-rail sections on the floor, connect the rails together with the rail couplers, and thread the screws through the holes, ensuring that the square bolt necks are seated into the square holes. Notice the arrow and D marking indicating the end that faces the door and the arrow and M marking indicating the end that faces the motor. Step 2. Find the pulley bracket and attach it underneath the door side of the rail. Step 3. Find the trolley and slide it onto the motor into the rail. Take a moment to ensure that the larger side of the trolley is on the same side as the stop bolt hole side that's on the rail. Step 4. Attach the rail to the opener by inserting a bolt into the stop bolt hole and securing it with a nut. Then, insert two more bolts to securely attach the rail to the motor. Step 5. Find the chain and lay it down on the floor. Make sure that the chain is laying flat without any twists. Step 6. Align the chain around the motor sprocket, making sure that the turnbuckle is 10 inches from the sprocket on the motor side of the rail. Then, wrap the chain around the sprocket teeth. Step 7. Wrap the cable into the chain around the pulley on the door into the rail. Then ensure that the chain passes through the trolley. And finally, slide the trolley until you hear a click when the chain traveler is connected. Step 8. Tighten the chain and cable assembly at the turnbuckle. When you do, tighten the turnbuckle by rotating clockwise. Now make sure that you avoid twisting the cable. So try to use pliers to hold the end of the threaded shaft while you're tightening the turnbuckle with a flat screwdriver. The bottom edge of the chain should be approximately half of an inch above the base of the rail. Step 9. Attach the sprocket cover by slightly squeezing the cover and inserting the tabs into the slots on the motor unit. Congratulations! You've completed your assembly. Your garage door opener is now ready to be installed. Step 10. Close your door and mark a vertical center line above the door on the wall. Step 11. On the center line, note the highest point of travel for your garage door and mark 1.5 to 2 inches above that point. If you have a one-piece garage door, please consult the instruction manual for more information. Step 12. Center the bracket on the center line. The bottom edge of the bracket should align with your marking. With your power tools, drill two 3 inch pilot holes and then attach the header bracket with the two lag screws that are provided for you. 
do not mount the header bracket upside down. Step 13. Reposition the opener to lean against the header bracket. Connect the pulley bracket to the header bracket by sliding a clevis pin through both brackets, securing with the hitch pin. Step 14. Raise the opener and rest it on top of a ladder. Step 15. Attach the opener to the drop brackets, ensuring that the rail is centered over the door. Step 16. Install the door bracket on the reinforced area on the center of the garage door's top panel. Refer to your installation guide for a proper location and attachment methods. Step 17. With a sectional door, connect the curved door arm to the door bracket with a clevis pin and hitch pin. Then connect the straight door arm to the trolley with the clevis pin and the hitch pin. With a one-piece door, you'll want to consult your instruction manual for more information. Step 18. Connect the two door arms together. Select holes far apart from each other to increase the arm's rigidity. Step 19. Attach the emergency release rope and handle by threading the rope through the hole in the trolley release handle and tie an overhand nut. Congratulations! You've installed your garage door opener. Wall console and safety sensor installation. Thanks so much for choosing Skylink. Today, we're going to take a couple of minutes to install the Atom Skylink Net enabled deluxe wall console and the safety sensors. Now remember, this video is for demonstration purposes only. Step 1. To install the wall console, let's start by connecting the bell wires to your wall console by screwing them into the back of the console. The wires are not polarity sensitive. Step 2. Mount the console onto the wall. Step 3. Route the remaining bell wire up the wall to the opener. Then, secure the bell wire with the included wire holders. Step 4. Connect the wires to the opener's green terminals with the wall button icon. The terminals are not polarity sensitive either. Then, place one wire into the positive and one wire into the negative terminal. Congratulations on installing your garage door wall console. Next, we're going to install the safety sensors. Step 1. Mount the bracket onto the door track on either side of the garage, between 4 and 6 inches above the ground. If it doesn't mount, you'll want to consult the instruction manual for other installation options. Step 2. Route the remaining wire up the wall to the opener. Twist the like colored wires together and insert them into the green terminals with the safety sensor icon. These terminals are not polarity sensitive either. Step 3. Plug in your AC power cord into an approved power source. The red light on the safety sensor should turn on. Step 4. When the safety beams are aligned, the receiving blue sensor should have a continuous blue LED light that's visible. Congratulations on installing your garage door safety sensors. Program the travel limits, force, and wireless controls. Thanks so much for choosing Skylink. Today, we're going to program the Atom Skylink Net enabled garage door travel limits, the force, and wireless controls. Remember, this video is for demonstration purposes only. Step 1. To set the travel limits, let's go ahead and start by plugging your garage door opener into an approved power source. Step 2. Press and hold the set button for 5 seconds until the LED displays the number 1. Step 3. Press and hold the up button until the door is fully open. Step 4. Press the set button to confirm the upward distance. The LED will display the number 2. Step 5. 
Press and hold the down button until the door is fully closed. When it's close to the ground, tap the down button until it's fully closed. Step 6. Press the set button to set the upward distance. The LED will display the number 3. Step 7. Go ahead and press the wall button to let the garage door run through its opening cycle. The LED will display the number 4. Step 8. Press the wall button again and let the garage door run through its closing cycle. The LED display will turn off. Congratulations! You've just programmed your garage door travel limits. Now, we're going to adjust the garage door force. Step 1. Press and hold the Learn button for 10 seconds until the LED displays the letter F. Step 2. Press the up or down button to set the force. If you're unsure of the setting, why don't you go ahead and keep it at the automatic zero setting. Step 3. Press the set button to set the force. Congratulations on adjusting the garage door opener's force. Next, we're going to program your wireless controllers. Step 1. Press the set button on the opener for one second. The LED will display the letter P. Step 2. Press the button on the remote that you would like to program. You'll hear a beep when it's successfully programmed. That's it! Congratulations on programming your handheld remote. Next, we're going to program the wireless keypad. Step 1. Press the set button on the opener for one second. The LED will display the letter P. Step 2. Type in your chosen four-digit PIN code and then the number sign. You'll hear a beep when it's successfully programmed. Well, that was easy. Congratulations on programming all of your remotes.